momentarily, I have a weird thing in my mouth. I need to take care of All right, apparently you can stab yourself with the spoon. Who knew? There was blood, it was weird, it wouldn't stop because it's in your mouth. Anyhow, yeah, this is West of Loathing. If you haven't heard of it by now, what are you doing? Everybody, and by everybody, I mean three people have told me to stream this. I'm noticing that it's very loud. Well, we can't do anything about it apparently. Huh? I broke the game. I can't quit. Someone help. I've doomed myself to a life of menu! Alt F4! Well, it's nice and quiet now. Doomed to a life of menu. The only reason I can't get this game to capture in full screen mode, so... So, let me guess. This is random. This is your gender. I don't know what this is. You can be a bear. Corbin Jones. Tiger, Leonard, and Leon. So you have, like... Woman, man, bear, owl, cat. Do these do anything other than just give you different names? Okay. Wanted for protagonizing. George. Ah. Oh. Name.
bane of my existence. We're gonna be Brightburn. The old western... No, we're not. Let's see where we go randomly. Bart. Boss. Gene. Jack. Brett. Johnny. Gene. Pete. Floyd. Leon. Gene. Another Gene. You're not making me see that fucking movie again. I, I can swing this. Oh, it doesn't go much faster. Ira, Charlie, Jack Johnson. I know who we're gonna be. We're gonna be John Marston. I think that's how you spell his name. No H. John Marston. I don't like much. It's right, right. Guy from Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. John Marston. At Strange Dream, I was choosing character class. So I've seen like the first 20 minutes of this game. Twice. So like, the first starting area in the house, I pretty much know. And everybody else I've seen did Bean Slinger or Cow Puncher, so I'm gonna go for the snake oiler. I'm gonna oil me some snakes and sell some of it and. Fuck it. Snake oilers lie on their moxie and chutzpa to chain, to tame snakes. Their fearlessness is to extract poisons from oils from those snakes, and their cleverness to manufacture and sell potions made from those oils. So it's pretty much warrior, mage, and then like alchemist or some shit. You've heard snake oils are doing well out west since the cows came home. Everybody needs potions and hope in these day, these dark days. Also, out west is where all the best snakes live. Gonna be a snake oiler. Goodbye, desk. Comb hair. You comb your hair, gain one XP. Butter your book, Secrets of the Witch Cellar. I read that one ten times. Treasure of the Spooky Caves. I remember that one. Blanche Swift and the Curse of the Forbidden Cave. I remember that one. I read that one ten times. Mom gave this to me five, a few years ago. Winona Danger and the Trouble at the Forbidden Bridge. What just happened? Walking stupidly. Now, when I say I've seen this the first 20 minutes of the game, I have listened to it because I play other things while I listen to YouTube videos mostly. Goodbye, phonograph. Oh. Now it's quiet. Only the wind. Unlock stupid walking as an option. Read the book from cover to cover and listen to how to walk really stupidly. Stupid walking has been... You actually dent ruined it by stepping out 30 times while trying to pick it up. How stupid is this walk? I ne- I never actually saw it. I just heard Markiplier laughing his ass off at it. Yeah, that seems about right. Was I just dragging my ass on the ground? Russell Crowe. It's a crow. Feed Russell a cricket. Grab a cricket from your bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciative and nuzzles your hand. Do I want to let him go? I don't know. I probably should. He might show up later. What a mess. A stack of firewood. I gain one XP. Aw, oh, yeah. You can just do menial tasks. Around the place. Nothing on the hat rack today. Hearth really puts the hearth in hearth and home. Yeah, no, wrong way. Can I cook stuff? Gonna miss mom's cooking. Is mom's pie safe? All her pies are safe. You'll miss the meals with the family. Big of your brother's weird book and flip through it. 
on the application to dynamics of a general mathematical method previously applied to optics. My brother's a nerd. Pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Disquisitions Arithmetic. Those in words. I already love this game. Yeah, you do. Uber die dark still barkend either function dirt ein trigger bark nerf me reich. Think it's about math, maybe. Toys. You got a puzzle cube. Okay. My brother's a nerd. Got him covered with all his weird diagrams and charts. So that's my brother's bedroom. And this is my bedroom. Then where does my mom live? Where do you sleep? Good to meet you, kiddo. And before you leave, I got you a present. A present? It's a book you wanted for Crimbo. I know it's early, but I want to cheese people. Bartering is good. Write us a letter when you can. She hugs you. I will, Mom. Read me a book. Education. After you're done reading it, you use your newfound skill to pawn it off on a wide-eyed rube. Ah, uh, 70s slang. Can I go into the woods? No time to screw around in the woods. Are you my dad? Oh, that's my brother. He's a nerd. Really? It just had to be. It's not for sewing, it's for picking locks. Well, I didn't pick the get the picky luckies. Your father morosely jabs at the haystack. The hat doesn't fit you, Dad. I'll grow into it. It's time for me to leave. Briefcase full of snakes. This is the best equipment I've seen yet. You get you get like brass knuckles of the cow puncher. And then the other one I think you get a spell book or something? I don't remember. This one I just get a briefcase with snakes. It doesn't even fit the times. So grandmother <laughs> listen, I want you to have this your grandmother's briefcase full of snakes. Thanks, Dad. Good. Good luck out there, Vishade is your mother. Sup, bro. Your brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Give him his puzzle back. He hand him his puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. Say goodbye. Hey Rufus, it's time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He has a good point. Why are you going west? To get off this stupid farm. No, let's not be mad. To get money. There's no opportunity here, kid. If I'm going to make it some of myself, I gotta go where there's some meat. But it's dangerous. 60% of the people who go west are killed within a year. And that's the 60s from before the cows came home. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so. Still don't, I still think you'll be dead by Grimbo. Fuck you, Rufus. I miss you, Rufus. Okay. I say I'll miss you, and he just says, okay. What a dick! Real talk, beware of learning next mech's magic. It fucks you up big time if you're not the right if you're not the magic class. Spoilers. Send. Go west, young man. Yes. John Marston don't like snakes. John Marston only likes using snakes. Cinematographer. It's movie credits? Dialect coach. Look at my guy. He's like sitting on a pile of turnips. Stunt coordinator. Yay. John Marston don't like water. Or snakes. Or snake water. Or fire. Or fire water. Or water snakes. John Marshall don't like much. 
Back when I used to live with um, 2-Bit Johnny, who's in the chat right now, uh, he played a shit ton of Red Dead Redemption, and you can you can guess where the jokes came from. Cause you'd walk, you'd walk, <laughs> like just some of the weird shit in that game. It was like you could t rub against a torch on a wall and you'd start on fire. So John Marsh into like fire, and then you can't swim in that game. There's no like swimming mechanics at all. So when you walked a little above chest deep in the water, was it like chest deep or it was like neck deep? He'd just fall. He'd ragdoll because he dies, so his head would just like plop below the water. Just randomly. It's like John Marston breathes through his nipples. This is a fact, Janet, ladies and gentlemen. Remember that for Red Dead Redemption 2. Wear loose, loose clothing. Well, the bad news is that you fell off your cart, chest deep, and then plop. Yep. Well, the bad news is that you fell off your cart and got knocked out for a couple of hours. You now know you've got no rod, no meat, and no prospects. The good news is you're in a town rather than a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. This would be great to practice my accents. Get turnip. You get a dusty turnip. What's beside it? Nothing. Hello, sir. He's mosey in here. BS horses. Gone drinking. What's this? Oh, it's horse shit. God damn it. Bar. You guys walk to the salute. A crazy eyed guy sitting on the left of the door shrieks and waves against you. Hey, where's your hat, Dag Nabbit? Well, uh, you can't drink it here without a hat. Taint proper. He points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. You look through the box and find a battered derby. That looks like something you'd wear. <gasps> I got a bowler hat. Fuck yeah. You grab the hat and put it on. Thanks, or Pete. Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly, somewhat twitchy nod. Say, feller. Yeah. You heading west? If you want some company, I'd be more than happy to tag along. Just let me know. Well, uh, no pressure. Sure. Now, I've been told and have heard. Can I get a different hat? That you just click everything in this game. So we're gonna go poke people. I'm gonna start with this dude. Can I steal his drink? Can I click this? It's a spittoon, people spit into it. You know without even looking in it that's absolutely disgusting. But I can look in it. Yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum. Looks like a few teeth as well. I would be vomiting over that thing. Because I have a friend who uh, does chewing tobacco every once in a while. And I've rode in his car with him while he does it and has the gross like spit bottle that's just a clear coke bottle and it made me nauseous just to be near that thing it was fucking disgusting even from a distance it smells horrible look closer you're now on your hands and knees peering into a filth encrusted spittoon I don't I don't understand what's wrong with you wait is this thing shiny at the bottom get it you reach your hand towards the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air, like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like a vomit trough at a mesquite barbecue eating contest. Does that cancel the gross out? Because mesquite barbecue sounds great. Smelling. I suppose after it's been in the stomach, no. Never surrender. You plunge your hand into the awful soup. That's a way to describe that. That makes it worse. It makes a sound like glop. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Persevere. Your fingers make contact with something, and you pull your hand out of the devil's tureen slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten in some kind of ring, probably some kind of disease well, as well. Congratulations. I got a ring. Can I go give this to some fucking... Um, what else in exchange for nothing? Does it heal me? I need to clean my glasses. Hang on. This game is very fucking bright, so it's making every little speck on my specs. Apparent. Listen to the nice saloon music in the meantime. And the sounds of my voice. John Marsh, Dunlack, 
John Marsh and Don't Axe Platoons. Or Spit. Spit that ain't his own. These guys are replaying poker, or at least trying to. They keep looking back and forth from their hands to the how to play poker card that came with their deck, biting their lip and concentrating real hard. Can I play? They look at you nervously. I have some meat, let's play. Do I want to play poker? Damn it, Finny, you just made me aware of my glasses. Yeah, you're also now aware of your tongue. Enjoy that. And how it doesn't sit comfortably in your fucking mouth. Let's play poker! Bet conservatively. Bet aggressively. Bet crazily. Put 20 meat on the table and sit down before they can say no. One of them shuffles the cards sloppily and deals a new round. You get a pair of tens, plus a two, a three, and a king. I'm not gonna do much with that hand. All I have is two pair. Can I bet aggressively? Yeah, all of it. 15 meat. Look at each other and they both call your bet. Okay, read them and weep. You show your pair of tens, two, three, plus two, three, king. The guy on the left has a full house, two jacks and three aces, and the guy in the center is a straight flush. Hog swallowing. What? You explain that jacks are worth nine point each. Give the guy on the left a total of 21 points, and the guy on the right a total is. And you're 25 plus a king. The king represents, oh hey, look over there. They look, and when you look back, they don't notice the 10 meat is missing from each of their piles. You collect the winnings, stand up. Guys, thank you for the game. I'm an asshole. Wow, this guy is squirrely. Is this Pete? What do you say, Pete? Who, me? Well, heck, I ain't saying all kinds of things. For instance, dirty machines. You can trust them no more than a lily liver horse thief. Uh-huh. See you later, Pete. You look dirty. Howdy, I'm John. Howdy, John, I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hostler. What the fuck is a hostler? I don't know what that is. Hey, good point. The town horse selling guy. Gotcha. How's that working out for you? Oh, those horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming. Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold in ages. Oh. Is that why you're here drinking instead? Yup. And me being here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. None of those. It's one of them vicious cycle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One. Kind of boring one. It's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll happily show it to you. Eh, yeah, sure. Hi, who are you? The woman glares at you. She probably just let her drink. There's the music. She probably leave him alone. Did I go in here? You walk to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign tape the bottom that says, Reward for lost mugs, 25 meat each. Bartender fight is it? Howdy, cowboy! Howdy, barkeep, name's John. What brings you to our little backwater? Oh, the usual, I came out west to make a fortune. Not having much luck so far. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Boring Springs, Boring Springs is already, already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of an air in town if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I suggest talking to the railroad people in dirt water. The railroad? Manifest Destiny Railroad Company from back east. They're trying to run a line to Frisco. Is that San Francisco? Maybe. I have a heck of a time doing so. And they're hiring? Oh, I reckon they're always hiring from one thing to another. Big company, that. Dirt water is interesting. That's far enough west. It's still more or less exempt from the rule of the law. But not so far west that it's been burned to the ground by the damn cows. Lots of opportunity there. He pauses for a few seconds, lost in thought. Yeah, if I were a younger man, I'd probably head that way myself. Now I'm guessing the errands is going to give me quests. So I'm going to look around first. I got to explore this building. There's the mug. So you can just find lost mugs around. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Boring Springs. I'm the sheriff of these parts. The what? Sheriff. The sheriff, okay? Blasted sign painters. 
say you wouldn't have to be looking for work, would you? Depends. For the work. Well, how does this grab you? There's a gang of hoodlums roaming around here that call themselves the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted out and took my cell door with them. They ain't, uh, well, it ain't much good at the door. And? Need somebody tough, smart, and or slick to go fetch it back for me. Why don't you do it yourself? You're the sheriff and all. I gotta stay here and practice my ch chair tipping. <laughs> Alright. Say that. I'll give it a shot. Funny you should say that because I'm sending a little deputy with you along to keep you out of trouble. He hands you the pistol from his desk. You got the deputy's pistol. A deputized gun. You're new in town. Maybe you ain't noticed. But there ain't much here to do except drink. Here, let me write down where the Fricker Gang's hideout is for you. He makes a little note on the map. Let's go to the map thing. I... Alright. I wonder if... Step right up, step right up, praise the name and trans the game! Seriously doubt his name's Braid. Howdy, Braid. What are you trading? Well, sir, today I'm trading a lock of... Trading locks for soap and a stick of dynamite for needle. For a needle. And to the cunning skinner who brings me three rattlesnake hides, well, to the adventurous soul I'll trade to find, silver pocket watch. How about free dynamite? I do have the dickering skill. I should actually check my skills. Sir, you must have made you drive a hard bargain, but five your turns acceptable. I already have dynamite, so I don't need that. No trades right now. Speaking of shit. Increases your muscle and moxie for the, for the rest of the day. So I probably don't want to use that yet. Damage enemy in combat is something useful out of combat as well. Briefcase full of snakes. Ah, cool. So I can make shit. Reef Christ, where you keep your favorite snakes. Just give me, like... Got a basic venom vial. So I do something? Poison an enemy, yeah. So I'm more of a healer, I guess. So I can get medicine and stuff. Alice MD. This guy, Cactus. There's a weird Cactus Hybrid Man. He smiles at you. Howdy, Cactus Man. Howdy yourself. Name's Bill. Cactus Bill. What happened to you, Bill? To be honest, partner, I drank too much Cactus beer and it turned me into a cactus. Doc Alice warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. Is that why they call you Cactus Bill? No, it's just a coincidence. Does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus. Ha! <laughs> no. It's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation process inside the cactus part of it keeps me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it's a mite boring. Yeah, I bet. It wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. You don't have to have a newspaper or anything, do you? No. I'm to find one keep me in mind. So we gotta find a newspaper. Can I click this? Some loose dirt. Let's go to Kansas. You're not allowed in Topeka anymore, remember? Why not? Make your own damn guide to Boring Springs and its environs. Ow. Really? Yay! Everything hurts. Do I take damage from that? John Marston, snake oiler. Stomach, liver, spleen. Your stomach capacity determines how many food items you can eat before you need a nap. You can also take naps. Also, you can't take naps. You can only go to sleep for an entire night. Big passage determines how many alcoholic drinks you can handle before you have to sleep it off. Explain in terms of how many potions you can use in a day. Oh, I could have moxied them more. The extent to which you are truly greedy, the higher it is, the tougher you'll be. Gumption. Your level of get up and get her done. The higher it is, the quicker you are. So, strength, agility. Like a strength and agility. Or, fucking strength and constitution. Agility. And then. 
Glamour's appreciation of fighting things in life. It increases you'll be able to consume more cocktails. You'll also be able to afford them. Charisma. Gotcha. Did I? You're a crack shot, but you can bullseye a bullseye at 300 paces. If you can shoot a fish in a barrel, even if the fish is really small, even the barrel's really big. You're a city slicker and a witty trickster. Yeah. You drive a hard bargain and you don't let anybody sell you the long end of the stick. Combat skills. Deploy snake. I want to deploy my snakes. It's good as a briefcase full of snakes. You can't, actually, can't occasionally pull snakes out of it and tell it what to do. Someone's a baby snake! Aww. Little Strabos. Whip out a snake, then whip something with it! Yeah! This skill deals a flat amount of damage and poisons its target. Why do I, do I take the poison out then? Gross. Ouch. Gross. Ouch. 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 Okay, so I can't go that way yet. Thousand? I only have like 80. That's business. You know, every day I'm hostiling. Uh... Okay. To tell you the truth though, it's pretty terrible. All my horses keep running, right? Except it's completely right anyone. That's rough. Maybe I can help you. Oh god, yes! Thank you! Please! I'd go fetch them myself, except it's injury. I'll give you 300 meat for finding each of them. Meet each. How many are there? Three. Here, let me see your map. It's pretty much always run away to the same places. Here's a little picture. Orhole Mine, Boring Springs Boneyard, and Thousand Snakes Gulch. I want to go get more snakes! I think the environments that are thematically appropriate. Is there a snake horse? Here, when you find one, feed it some of these oats that should send it back here. Homing oats. Does that work? They're specially pigeon-infused oats. See you later. I'm gonna go get snakes. Snakes! That is a big snake. He's, one of these rocks is really shiny. Okay. Ow, oh, dag nabbit! Eek! Ah, pointy. Fight! Get in my snake bag. have one action point. Go, tiny snake! Oh, he's a big boy. Ow. A sleepy rattlesnake. Why would I not use the gun? Bang! Yeah. You've just slain a snake, roll our fun, they'll call you Snake Murdering John. You collect one venom and one medicine. Yeah, snakes. Another snake, well I guess it's not called one snake, Gulch. Okay, I kill it. These jerks are quick. Ow. So I guess I have one A action point of fight. They um, if they ramp up like this, they not be able to do much more. Progress towards next level. You like two venom. Yay! The snake looks really. You're gonna need every trick in the boot to beat this one. No thanks. What? I ran into cactus too much. Mostly scabs. You've been poked by so many cactus, your body has built an entire extra set of skin cap layers just to deal with the constant tiny puncture wounds. I got fucking 5 max HP for just ramming myself into cacti. Okay. Can I get more? Cool. I only had like 15 HP too, or 20. So that just gave me 25% more. Uh, I'm going to come back later. I could jump! Uh, let's go see if there's skeletons. 
I do like killing undead. Our founder, Zephaniah Boring, 1806 to 1885. He's actually a really interesting guy. Mug. Benjamin Crockett, he showed up way too early. <laughs> right? 1320, and the rest of them is 18. Thir that was like the fucking 1300s? Hey, look, a skeleton. Burgard Skeleton Captain 3rd Cavalry. This grave is really noisy. A skeleton. You're not going to get past without a scuffle. A scuffle it is! Ha ha! Bang. Ow. How much damage does this do? 5 damage. Punch it! Skill up. Glamour level 2. Meat gains, item finding bonus. That's pretty good. Is that a ghost horse? Your pulse quick. It, your pulse quick is to get near the spookily translucent horse. You approach the weird, semi-transparent horse cautiously so as to not startle her. But you quickly come to the realization that it's not a horse that startles easily. Hello there. Hi, I'm a friend. Okay. Yay! That's a little strange. How do you know without opening your mouth? Pat her on the nose. Pat the horse on the nose, which is very cold. If you're going to ride her, you would want an extra saddle blanket to keep your butt from freezing. Pat her on the nose again. Yep, it's cold. Damn it. Here you go, girl. Have some oats. You hold a handful of oats to the horse, but she just sort of stares right back at you. Wait. Stares right through you, burr. Please don't look at me like that. Well, they also gamble the horse continues to know. What's the matter? Are they not spooky enough? I'm not sure how to make out spooky. I guess I could put some bone meal into them. I don't have anything to have. Grave dirt. Add some grave dirt. Sprinkle oats oh, a little bit of grave dirt and hold them out again. The horse grazes expressionly at them and then eats them. Slides away in the direction of the town. Bizarre. Timothy Cook. Cochran? Devoted husband. Elizabeth Cochran, beloved daughter. Silas Cochran, a baby. I guess that's it for this area. That was easy. Are all the horses that easy? Can I just get a bunch of money? Definitely not bear. This is not. Yeah. This definitely does not bear closer scrutiny. Meat ore. What? Why? They mock. Searching for a cargo elevator. Cargo level control. Level 1 blasted cat storage. Plungers, both kinds. Tools. This crates are all labeled. Fucking. Fucking! Plastic cats, part of the label. The period is part of the label, that's why the. Inside the quotes, like. Yeah. They're weird. Attention to whatever. Dang, looks like you're gonna need a crowbar to pry one of these open. So, we know that from the tools? Using a needle. Yay! I can pick it without locker picking it. And I got a crowbar. And it's a weapon. I don't think I had lock picking. I don't. I guess you can just do it anyways. Give me things. Blasting cap. You probably want the crates open and grab a blasting cap. Did the game just get louder? I'm gonna just do that. What's this lever? Oh. Give me this one. Mine card is still full. Just sell it. Okay. Detonation plunger. 
King of Pets is Rebel. Hook up the plunger to it. But it gets your instinct for self you hook up the plunger and string it a fair distance away. Already got a plunger. This makes you nervous. Doesn't it do it automatically? I have a blasting cap. Succeeded in putting yourself in great danger. Yeah! Explosions! A oh, horse. And money! Dang it, I need a shovel. I have to come through all these when I get a shovel. See the dark horse? Barely. Hey there, girl. It's okay. I'm a friend. The horse shies away from you. Aww. Though in this case, it's more cripplingly introverted sh shy... <laughs> introverts away from you. Oh, come on, don't be like that. I brought some oats for you. They aren't poison or anything. No disrespect, I guess that was a very comforting thing to say. Pat her on the nose. The horse ducks and steps back further. She has knee. Feed her the oats. I like the shy horse. If you the handful of the oats, back hold up the horse. Here you go. Yum, yum. She slides from you, away from you warily. You're hiding her own shadow. Please. Eat the oats yourself. They're fine, okay? So you take a handful of the oats in the bag and toss them in your mouth. Ugh! It's like the roughest, blandest breakfast cereal you've ever eaten. Still, it's better than dry cat food. Don't ask. You smile to show the horse that you're fine and realize that you've unconsciously turned around and walked out of the door. Jeez, these are powerful. <laughs> horse looks at you early as you re-enter the cheerful wave. See? Perfectly fine. Pat you on the nose now. Horse haunches her shoulders and seems to shrink slightly as you pat her nose, but that's not actually a flea, so that's something. Yay! Horse finally seems relax enough to ground you. So you offer her a handful of the oats. Warily, begrudgingly, she eats them, then gestures at something behind you. You turn around, look, you don't see anything. You turn back, she's gone. Sneaky horse. So I need a shovel. Want to go to the Fricker Gang's hideout now? I need to go back to Thousand Snake Gulch and kill that fucking snake and get your horse. Think I can beat it? With 25 health and a tiny baby snake? How do I upgrade my... Uh. You never do. I'm gonna... Fuck it! Ah, my skin! Go, <laughs> oh, tiny snake. I might be dead. Probably dead. Bang. I might not be dead. I'm not dead! Yay! Give me your hide. I got my HP again, mate. Nice work. If the whole cowboy thing doesn't work, hey, you can always get a job as a snake exterminator. I mean, that can be a lot of oil. There's the other hut. What the fuck is wrong with your eyes? Horse has gone snake crazy, or maybe some other kind of. Whoa. <laughs> hey there, fellow friend. Nyrg! Alright, cool. Don't freak out. <laughs> Look him in the eyes. You come and look at the horse's eyes if it's one of them is fixed in a glassy yard stick. That's fucking stupid straw. I got water all over me. Fucking straws, man. Come look at the horse's eyes. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand yard stare. The other is revolving madly in its socket like he's thinking of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. It looks to be calming down a little. It's clear you aren't actually made of spiders, though. Pat, he's nose. You look carefully and gently. Wait, you carefully pat the and gently pat the horse's nose. He twitches a bit. Okay, a lot. Seems to recognize you aren't going to eat his eyes or suck out his soul or whatever madness is bouncing around in that skull of his. That's a good boy. <clears throat> feed him the oats. The hungry boy got a little tray for you. <clears throat> you feed the crazy horse some of the hoving oats, and it gallops away with Winnie, or rather, a uh, winner. <clears throat> Hopefully, he's headed home and not the twelfth dimension. There, I got them all.
Gimme, gimme, gimme. Money, money, money. <laughs> Dang it, I kinda want the crazy horse, but I want the shy horse as well. Here's a little extra. Yay! She said something earlier about an injury. Busted my knee mucking out while mucking out the showroom. Don't ask, it's embarrassing. She's gonna get Doc House because she gave up doctoring. Why'd she do that? Nobody knows. She shut her up in her office. She won't accept any. She won't talk to anyone except Nurse Whiskey. Pretty sure she's just being sarcastic. But no. Look at someone who has seen the madness that dances on the other side of the void. <laughs> behold the pale, <laughs> you behold the pale horse, absurd, like absurdly pale. This horse seems uncomfortable when you look at her directly, but she's so cute. It's the most typical horse you've ever seen. The crazy horse is awesome though. So I gotta go get into the doctor's office then? Get lost. Let me in! I need a fucking shovel. Let's go kill the fricker people. He is a unibrow! Thud Fricker, the Fricker Gang's intrepid look out, appears to be taking a little nap. Wake him up, just shoot him. Or ignore him. Uh, let's not cause a lot of... Requires foraging. Meet a pair of silver cufflinks. Fancy. If you wore a fancier shirt, you might have seen his face. I don't want to wake him up with a gunshot. That might alert everybody else around. But... Another sleeping dude. One of the freaking boys is... <laughs> Can you pass the soap? He mumbles and hands you a bar of soap for singing deeper into both sleep and the tub. Oh, people. I have to fight these guys, aren't I? I like the lighting. Cautiously approach the frigger gang. They're pretty engrossed in their poke against so they don't require that much caution. You hide behind the barrel and eavesdrop on their conversation for a while. The one with the eye patch is quiet, but you gather his name is Snipe. And the squirrel one's brother is his brother Wimpy. What's your play here? There's only one option. Howdy boys, deal me in! Oh god. How'd you get past Thud and Sophie? What do you want? I'm here for the sheriff's door. I'll show you the door. Go to hell, he draws his gun. Well... I want to kill the one with the shotgun. Who has five health? He's just dead. Try to shoot this target will hit the sturdy barrel instead. Can I snake whip him? That was one fluid animation. Crowbar him! Ha! You're bad at this. Okay. There's a figure ganger dead, the sheriff will be proud of you. Though you're not sure how your mother would feel. Dead eye level two. Cover the sheriff's door. Ooh, mug! Fifty meat. And the door. Well. Best not leave witnesses. Ruthless. Oh no! You find his pants next to the bathtub and grab his gun because you don't want to get yours wet. You hold the gun under the water to muffle the sound. You pull. That's not how that works. <laughs> you put one in his heart. One bullet. In case you didn't know that's what you were putting. One of in his heart. You monster. No! Rub a dub dub. I'm an asshole. They were bandits though. You're a cold blooded killer. And most people can see it in your eyes. It's often the last thing they see in fact. Well, I'm an asshole now. Let's embrace it. Sorry, buddy. Bye. Seems very sportsmanlike. Like, you sure you want to do that? Fuck it. You're gonna gun down a half a sleeping man in cold blood. Cold is the only blood I have. He's just a kid. Everybody dies. Yay! Dang, partner. 
Everybody dies! Go back to the shirt now. <laughs> shirt. See, the Fricker game hasn't put you to stop. Put a stop to your breathing. Did you rescue Maseldor? Yeah, the sheriff is already hangs the back of the Nice work, stranger. Here's a prison cell. This here prison cell's got about four times more secure. No, nope, they won't be bothering this town any longer. Well, now, that's a right load off my mind. It looks like I owe a reward. He produces a big bag of meat. Got another little test to your time. Should be a lot of the last one. Well, the Fricker's gone and busted the lock to the door. I'm gonna need a new one. The one dude sells locks, right? Name is Brad. Howdy! For a lock. Ouch. Here's a lock. Right here. Sheriff is locking the cell door and accidentally drops the key that clatters into the cell. Hellfire! I suppose you could pick that lock, stranger. Got a needle handy? No. Used it. Let's blast it open. Fuck. I need another needle. Hi, give me your other quest. I suppose you can help with a little goblin problem. I found these mugs. Yeah, one of the cowpucks came through here from dirt water and didn't wipe his boots off. And got gulch goblin spores. Oh god, they're orcs. Thought I cleaned them out, but I must have missed one in the base pit. Okay. Lock the basement for you. You'll need this weak fungicide. Who are you? What are your other dialogues? This lady, hey, that's Susie. She's a rancher from nearby. Real tough fraud. I recommend you don't. I ain't recommend you piss her. Whole family, plus whole family of cow tech recently got pent up frustrations about it. Hi, I can kill them. Susie Cochran. Uh, how do you know my last name? I saw the graves at the cemetery. Scowls bitterly and mutters in her whisker. I saw it happen. The whole damn thing, and I couldn't do nothing about it. Watch and I said it was cows. Cows, right? I don't know what those things are, but they ain't cows. Not anymore. They are were cows. Or mad cows. It was a raid. See, Ma and Pa used to ranch cattle back before... Well, before they came home. Pa didn't make it, but Ma and I managed to rebuild. We ranch pigs instead, and she left me the place when she passed on. I guess passing herds sniffed out what used to be a cow ranch and they attacked a couple days ago. Happened so fast that I can't even... I didn't have time to get my rifle out of the gun safe. Cow smashed the front door. Can I have the gun? That's one of the blazes. Oh. There wasn't anything I could do. Couldn't get upstairs to the, to the kids. Saw Tim trampled right in front of me. Well, this game got dark. What do you do now? Head west, I suppose. Not keeping me here. Nothing keeping me here anymore. I have no desire to stay. I can't lift up my rifle though. It was Ma's rifle. It's all I got of left of anybody. I lived at the ranch house like a damn fool. Listen, can I ask you a favor? I need someone to go get it for me. Okay. It's a gun. Gun time! Cochrane Ranch established 1891. While the water in the trough is boiled away, Susie's ranch house is. That was a very evil cow noise. Something behind this door. Okay. Oh, it's a cellar. Somebody was in the middle of fixing a knife. Varmint skin and knife. Dang it! If I had that before I killed the snakes... Could I have skinned them? Huh. That looks evil and ominous. This thing's saying you're not gonna sit with it. Fuck it! Murder the shit out of it! Okay, that hurt. Oh god! Burning fire! Well, I went anyways. Fire stores next. 
Grab Susie's rifle. It's the Cockroach's favorite gun safe. So there's weird magic cows. Dang it, I wish I would have gone here first before the snakes. I could have gotten snake skins and then gotten something special. From the one dude. Maybe they're back. Are the snakes back? Alright, let's go. Damn it! There's a thousand snakes, not three! Well, shit. Oh well. Play this game yourself. Figure out what the hell you get. Alright, got your gun. Yeah, here it is. So his eyes will help with tears as you hand her the rifle. She roughly scrubs your sleeve across your face before spell. Thanks, stranger. I didn't keep it in. I'm John Marston. Thanks, John. I can't rightly say what it means to me. She looks at the rifle to her a long moment, then back up at you. She says, Well, that's enough while I'm in my misery. Time for me to hit the road. If you want me to tag along when you head west, just say the word. Sounds good. Can I get a partner? Can I get a party? Goblin time. Hi. Probably leave him alone. Pile of old newspapers. Goblin can wait. We must save Cactus Man from boredom. Bring me one for the road. Yee. Something to read. Much obliged, little party. Let's see here. Oh no. My shovel. I left it behind the outhouse at Oreo Mine. I keep bringing that as Oreo Mine. It's Orhole. It's yours if you get it. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Hang on. Got a fucking thing here. And the others are mine. Don't mention it. Now if you could just kind of stick that newspaper to my face before you leave. Ah! Looks like there is arms. Okay. So. Orhole mine. Shovel. Sweet! Time for stuff. I hope I can use it more than once. Silver nugget. Yay. I would just leave any time I want, can I? This we can dig up. Oh fuck, it's a fight. Oh, you're gonna die in two hits. Three hits. Eight. That hurts. Put a copy of the captain's unnatural animation. Gold tooth and an old cavalry saber. Is that better than my crowbar? Five to six. Five to six. Well, it's a sword, though. We can't deny the sword. This guy just wouldn't stay put. Was there any more dirt anywhere else, though? <laughs> Things to dig up. You don't have to walk all the way back over there. Fuck you! I need more loot. I'm exploring. Sure, I'm not missing anything. Did I check the fire? There's nothing to check. Shovel it. It's nasty work, but somebody's got to do it. Yeehaw, gumption skill up. Yay! Tiny amounts of XP. Yeah, that's right. I'm a janitor. That guy's really happy about his newspaper. There's a mug. How you doing? Can I go in here yet? Get lost, gotcha. Dang it! Yikes. I need a needle. God, I wish I had gotten the frickin... Wait. This is accidental. Shiny Rock, you wanna give me some seven... Seven meat. I like this rock. Suit yourself. 81 meat. Hang okay. 
Unrefined ore. Okay. Listen, kid, all the stuff I've been buying from you. You've been spending time underground, ain't you? Well, you listen to old Pete's advice. You'll stay out of ore hole mine if you know it's good for you. There's stuff down there on the fourth level that ain't worth messing with for a fellow that keeps his eyes. That wants to keep his eyes. Alright, I'll sell you the other rock. Or no, I won't, I guess. Yeah, fine, there we go. Fourth level, you say? To the mine! Level 40. No. Hi, Zef. Also, what? No, what? Strange black chest. The wave of nausea hits you as you slide the heavy lid off the chest. Inside is a hat. It looks evil, but not in an abstract way. It has eyes, and they look like the eyes of murder! Do you say 40th lips? It's teeth, which look like the teeth of an animal who would remember... Who would be a murderer if animals understood the concept of murder. Give me my evil hat! Hard mode! Since the foreboding, something tells you this is a bad idea. It's me, I'm telling you this is a bad idea. If you put on this hat, you won't ever be able to take it off, and things will be much harder for you. It'll be as though your life's a game. But they've got a life that's greatly increased because of Damn it. How do I save? It's automatic. Yeah. Where's your inventory filtering? Source option instead of defaulting to everything new. Okay. Best font mode. Ah. Oh. Please don't do this. Nerd mode displays a log describing what happens in combat. Wait. Hey. I want to level up myself. Kind of boring springs. So Zeph, oh damn it! Do we want the crazy horse or the shy, sweet, adorable, 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 dark, introverted horse or crazy face? Seen the madness that dances on the other side of the void. I need a horse, but I don't know which one to pick. One of them's cute, and one of them's fucking weird. Howdy. Damn it. I wish I had skinned those now. Snakes. Damn it! No! Shy wins every time. Okay. Look at the cute horse. It's gonna be adorable and introverted. Shifty looking dark one. The basic model. Give me one of the crazy. Good choice, she's a sneaky one. What do you say, sneaky? She's really quiet and likes her dark places. I'll take her! I like those. A real underdog, I got an achievement. Tina, I can name my horse, god damn! Uh. Fucking names. What should I name it? I've never named a horse before. I don't have any predefined names. Ugh. Oh, I need to check uh something real quick. Yay, there's a reply. Oh, I have the same problem. Ha, ah, yeah, sure. Thanks, help forums. 
Zeph, if you don't name my horse, I'm naming it after you. You can be adorable. Squeaky. I put in queaky. Okay. Squeaky because it's tiny and shy. Maybe. Wanna name your horse Squeaky? Sure. Squeaky the horse! It's got a nice ring to it. Free horse is the purchase of a complimentary map. So can I go anywhere now? Okay. Okay. Southeast West map. Follow map to dirt water. Can I come back? I wanna go take care of the thing first. Okay. Just gonna Nurse brand whiskey. Ah. Uh... See, the goblin looks too happy to kill. He's just sitting around here drinking. We'll spare him for the last. Spare him. Damn it. Whiskey delivery for you, Doc. What brand? Nurse whiskey. Didn't know she made house calls. Hold on. You hear her rustling as the door unlocks. I'm gonna loot your house real quick. Shouldn't these be further from the fireplace? Stuff is spotless. She's really compulsive about cleaning or she never cooks. Hey, Doc. Can I look at your books? Not until you give me the whiskey you promised. Okay. Doc Alice looks to be in about her 50s. Her hair is graying and her face is lined. But her eyes still clear and sharp, if bloodshot. She holds her hand out. Whiskey. Stat! Cuts to the bottle and fills a small flask and takes it out of your pocket. Her pocket. She puts the flask back in her pocket and starts chugging out of the bottle. Jeez, dog, that doesn't seem healthy. Who's the doctor here? Me or you? Alright, point taken. Can I get your book? Sure, if you want to, now they're gonna invest. This doomed forsaken hellhole. Try being less cheerful, Doc. They're all medical textbooks except for a few. The Legend of Curly Meats, The Life of John S The Life and Works of Fred Ferguson, The Goblinoid Tongue. Make like a tree and leaf. So can I talk to the goblin now? Start flipping through the goblin language book. It's confusing at first, but eventually you get so engrossed that by the time you take a break from me, several blurfs have passed. You also know that blurf is the goblin word for hour. So learn to speak goblin, sort of. Well, lucky me. The book tells the story of a legendary treasure, a massive chest full of premium meats, secreted the hidden sense. Secreted in the hidden sense, not the extrudent sense. In the western desert by an old cowhand named Curly Butterfield. This book purports to be Civil War Surgeon's autobiography, but flipping through it, you mostly just find lists of reasons that drinking alcohol is bad, so it's actually a work of ludicrous speculative fiction. Haha. <laughs> there are some useful appendices in the back and some diagrams of appendices. Cool. Wow, that takes a lot of XP. Wow, those take a lot of XP. You know what, fuck it. I'll turn this on. It's my first run. Maybe if I do another one, I'll endeavor to get the everything. Like the snake hides. You are not the bar. Good day, chap. The goblin shouts, I'm Gary. Hello, I am Gary. Who are you? Well, I'm John. Well, hello, hello there, John. Good to meet you. What John doing down here? Oh, I'm just looking around. Oh, hey, Gary likes looking too. Gary now looking for a way out of dump. Gary not having much luck though. Where are you trying to go, Gary? Highway. High away. High away and far up for popping. Popping and then new Gary everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. 
Settle down, Gary. Gary doesn't like settling. Gary wants to traveling and pop. If John go far up on highway, maybe taking Gary with you, eh? Think about it. Wait. So I can get a... I can have the goblin with me? Did I assemble my party? Is there anything else to do here? I kind of want to go and see who joins me. See, wait a minute. I don't think there's anything to do because I have uh, the sheriff thing I can't get because I don't have a needle. The snake skins I can't get because I don't have a knife at the time. What about you? Are you doing anything? Fuck it, we're leaving. I want to continue. If you leave Boring Springs, you won't be able to come any official movie. Are you sure you want to leave? But, but people. Does this take the people with me? You're probably a horse and ready to start your new life in the West. All you need now is a partner. Dang it. What do you think? Should we go with the Goblin or Susie? Because I don't want to take Crazy Pete. Susie, you need titties in the West. Okay, that's one vote for cowgirl titties. Susie, Gary wants to pop. Alright, we'll do Susie. And collect Susie. Hit the trail. Make Gary everywhere. There'd be a lot more goblins around for me to talk to you. Up until this point, you've been automatically spending your experience points for you. I'm happy to keep doing it. I promise I'll give you a nice, well-rounded experience. Shall I keep it up? Refer to side on yourself. Yeah. I already discovered that. So the southwest map, southeast, uh, southeast west map, the hostler gave you, and at least two in the town of Dirtwater and the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company's westernmost camp. All right, Susie. Oh, hi there, sweet. Comb her mane. Aww. Look at all the people. Susie, I can't click you. There's too many things in the way. I like to check up on some of the ranches in these parts. See how bad the cows attacks are getting. Alright, do you know someone? Not in great detail, but I know roughly where a few are. Or at least, guess we'll have to see. There's not one far from here. Stern's Ranch. What do you think we should do next? If we're looking to get a move westward, I reckon you train... I reckon a train's the way to go. But my horse! Go to the map the holster gave you. That's some railroad camp that might be worth checking out. Good idea. Into the bar! Oh god, another one. Which is sort of brass bucket people spit into instead of spitting on the floor because it's not spitting it. Wait. Music? Because not spitting at all is not an option in this society, I guess. I say this despite knowing you're pretty intimately familiar with spittoons already, you sicko. Look, the Jewel Saloon is a pretty nice place saloons go. Actually, glass in the wind actual glass in the windows. More than two kinds of drink and a poker room instead of a cockpit cockfighting pit. But a spittoon is still a spittoon and a rancid tobacco and spit. There isn't fancy rancid tobacco spit. <laughs> Here we go again! Alright, fine. You're now hunkered down next to a brass filth bucket, which has been probably never cleaned. What the hell? The music. Or empty because you're near the desert and the ambient humidity in here is pretty low. Low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quickly as it accumulates. So that's good, right? 
No, that's bad because it's only the water part of the spit that evaporates. The brass plug is half full of the rest of the spit. The toxins and filth that don't evaporate. Several years worth distilled and concentrated until it's the consistency of molasses. People aren't allowed to flick cigarette butts into the spittoon anymore because they bounce out. Search it! You're about to put your hand into a bucket of something color... Something the color and viscosity of maple syrup instead of maple's flavored... Instead of maple, it's flavored with the inside of the mouths of people who choose cigarette butts and smoke instead of wait, who choose cigars instead of smoking them and have never brushed their teeth. Yup, glorp. It feels like putting your hand into a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding. Oh god, I love tapioca. But lukewarm tapioca is bad though. Except instead of tapioca, it's basically poison. It smells like someone ran over a skunk, waited a week, and then set it on fire. Feels like your hand is dissolving. Go! <laughs> you found something. It's a tacky, filth-covered porcelain cow figurine. A useless, disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children, assuming you're able to ha have anything. <laughs> assuming you're still able to have any, and you hate them. What the fuck is wrong with this? Dude, are you okay? The piano player is not very good at his job. Goldminster is off in the distance listening to the piano. He doesn't react to you at all. You guys are having a spirit decision about guns. Yeah, yeah, you are. Kitchen, dartboard. See bartender for darts. How come they're allowed to drink without hats on? Here we go. Nothing happens, okay. What did I just do? I just clicked something and pinned something to my taskbar I don't want there. Ladies to booze washing dishes to pay attention to you. The shelf is full of canned and bottled ingredients and boxes of slop helper. Hey, what are you doing here? Employees only, but oh sorry, I was just looking around. You're the nosy type. I, I prefer adventuresome. As it happens, there's something you'd do for me. I'm out of saltpeter and I needed something to go pick up more. Isn't saltpeter a stone? Hmm. Potassium nitrate. Nitrate. Is this still ed edible? Is an iconic salt of potassium ions, K plus in nitrate ions, NO3. Is therefore an alkali metal nitrate. Major uses of potassium nitrate are in fertilizers, tree stump removal, rocket propellants, and fireworks. It's one of the major constituents in gunpowder and has been used since the Middle Ages as a food preservative. Yay! It's edible. It has many names. The Arabs call it Chinese snow. It was called Chinese salt by the Indians and Persians. Okay. Thermal decomposition. So it explodes. And yet is put in food. Cool. It is edible. Fort Cowardice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're fine. Your best bet is a military camp because it's used to make gunpowder. Shut up the nearest Fort Cowardice. They keep it in little green jars. Atop this pot belly stove is a pot full of slop. A pot stove top slop pot. This is uh, where the chef preps ingredients for cooking. It's also where he parks his beer. Can I buy some slop? Yeah. You got a plate of slop. Poker, quote unquote, room. Rules. This person says rules of poker, followed by a hundred rear rules in tiny print. Straight beats a straight. Four are wilds unless accompanied by three sevens. Tens are wilds unless accompanied by three aces of hearts. Six are wilds and four of clubs are double wild. A Georgia straight beats a backwards Tennessee straight. Fives are wild unless accompanied by four sevens. 
Player passing out drug at the table must discard 27 cards. Two twos of hearts and a pair of nines counts as a full house. A pair of nines are twice as valuable as two tens, but rank higher than two tens. A straight beats a straight. Fours of, okay, that's all of them, I think. Wait, any player spitting anywhere other than a spit must discard two cards. A, five, a pair of a five of clubs and a pair of homicide queens count as the Nevada straight. A one-handed jack must be replaced with a pair of queen of diamonds. Sixes are wild. Let's go to a pair of deuces. Montana flush beats a flush. A pair of fucking table is full up. Play poker. Hi, cell phone. Grab back. Do you enjoy the nice sounds of poker chips? Clittering and clattering. Away. Let's play poker. You sit down at the poker table. The dealer emerges from somewhere in the back and sits down next to you. The lady to your right introduces herself as Sandy. The lady to your left says his name is Edwin. Annie up. Oh god. 10% chance to win. 20 meat. Wait, fucking what? The dealer gives you a deck. Gives the deck a shuffle, then deals a hand of cards and slides it across to you. It's total garbage hand, four sevens, a pair of aces, and a diamonds, and five of diamonds. First round of the pot is 60, meaning you estimate your chance of winning around 10%. Strategize! You pound on the table, causing the cards to fly into the air and land in a slightly different configuration. <laughs> Second silent round of betting the pause at 60 meat and you estimate your chances of winning around Moxiously raise. You can get out of it and put 20, 20 more meat in the pot. Forcefully strategize. This will be your cards as a reverse flush. This is your cards by revealing a Tennessee flush. I lost. Play again. We can make our money back. Well, I don't have three muscle. Yay! Let's get out of here. I won a little bit of money, even though I already have a lot of money. Did I talk to you yet? Scott doesn't like sections in the mood to talk. 
In regards to the conversation, leave them be. It's your partner. <coughs> Fall asleep during a brawl. What do you think this place? It's all right, Tad. A bit busy for my taste, but it makes for change. But it makes a change from being on the road. Got to wash the dust off every once in a while. You like and collect some fresh new dust. Hey. Howdy there! Always nice to see a new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. Hi, thanks. I'm John. Glad to know you, John. Folks around here just call me Lloyd. What can I do for you? Nice to meet you, Lloyd. So the sign out front, advertising a room. Anything? Have a shot of bourbon. Who's the old man by the piano? That's old Ellsbury. Tragic fella he is. He was a writer and a poet. Came out. Was to sell his stories, but nobody here is buying. Too weird, his stories. Fantastic alike. Too bad I love that stuff. Well, it doesn't matter anyhow. He had to get normal... Wait. He had to get normal work to make ends meet. Did passing well as a prospector until one day he lost his mi his mind and mine. What now? You know what I mean? He saw something. Something that made him stop telling his weird tales. Made him stop talking near completely. <clears throat> Come to that. He just stands there by the piano nowadays. It seems to calm his mind. And as long as he doesn't make any trouble, I don't mind him too much. I feel sorry for him. Oh. Finest room in the house. Plenty of room for your partner, too. Interested? How much does it cost? So you're in luck. The previous tenant was a banker fell, and he paid a month in advance. Right before getting yourself killed by bandits. Oh, cool. Free room. Hey, you, Lloyd. I don't think any medical type stuff going wrong. Mechanical player. See what I can do. I am a snake wallerer. Yeah, that. Put it on myself, but I lost the key. I have medicine. I have a briefcase. Snake medicine. Drink this. Damn it. Wait, what? Panda player's coat reveal a hatch on his back that leads to his innards? Ah, uh, no. Nope. The postcard on this little table. Bank postcard. Does it give me money? Bank postcard, maybe you should write to your family back home in case you don't know how the mail works. You can send these by going to the building called the post office. And give it to the Correspondence Wizard! Insult yourself. Gain the effect angry. If you get angry, a lot will pass out. What does this do? Oh, cool. It gives me shit. This is Susie's bed. Hey, partner. He says that you should get salt paper from Fort Caritas. It's a reminder. Okay. Wait, what's this one do? Oh, right down there. You look positively pissed. Okay, never mind then. Dirt water, mercantile, it's water for a horse soul. Ah, oh, I can sell shit now. Wow, good thing I found that shovel. Disposable binoculars, dynamite, modern snake oiler. Learn to use a new thingy. Ah. Oh. Soda crackers, tooth powder. Ugh. But I like my gun! Fuck that. Floppy Derby. Gold tooth. It's gold for. Wait. It's in the ground for a long time, then somebody. Then in somebody's mouth for a very short time, and now it's in your backpack. Oh shit! That's where that went. Here comes the calorie. Save it. Here's your maximum average by five for the rest of the day. Increase the combo. Damn it! Effective against goblins. I want to buy this. Blood sausage. <laughs> There's a fold-out 
chart listing all the hottest new poisons. Gives expert poisoners a passive skill that multiplies the amount of poison you apply to enemies when you poison them. There's an article entitled Debilitating Toxins, Where Are They Now? It gives a bad medicine and a combat skill that reduces the target's moxie. This recipe for a new kind of snake oil concoction looks like it might come in handy in a fight. Gives good medicine, a skill that lets you recover HP. This one. Dang it, I didn't see what happened in the book. I'm going too fast. I'm eager. Hello, post wizard. Any mail for me? Mm, nope. I'd like to send a postcard. You write a quick note to Rufus, letting him know that you've been up to and that you're okay. Do zero meat then. Yay! Is he gonna write me back? Oh. In five seconds, sure. Little girl selling some flour. Those are some expensive flowers. Are you the sheriff here? No, we currently don't have a sheriff. <clears throat> need to help until you find a sheriff. Sure, if you're any good with a gun, there's always somebody in need of some justice. One poses her back. There, cells are over yonder. She points behind her. I and you're doing all this while fucking pissed, right? Super angry. It's a wanted poster! No way, you misread it. It's a wasted poster. Close enough. Stripey hat gang for grand theft, paint, and tasteless hat vandalism. I see the city of Cavern Canyon. Dirty rotten paint thieves are low down, no fashion sense hat vandals. Despicable. Yay. House in the Desert Gang for mortgage non payment, squatting in journal public nuisance, also for murdering two collection agents. Kill them all. Wonder if the house is named after the third name of the house. The name is. Yep, a bit. Got anybody in here? What the hell? This empty cell is all ghostly. Super angry. Lot available. Lot available. So does this like grow while I do this? Not a lot available past this point. So the sign, there's nothing past here. So where do we want to go first? There's a lot of places to go right now. Let's go get the salt. You notice know, a smoldering hole in the ground and recognize the habitats of a southwestern coal snake! They keep themselves mostly, but they're known for enjoy fighting if once thrust upon it. Yeah! Giving up is the same as losing. Well, I'll throw my own snake at it! Or flip it with one. Wow. A lot more poison damage. Bang! Please die. Yay! That was easy. Snake venom bladder. Skin it with your trusty knife, you got cold snake skin. Yeah. If only I got the sweet, sweet, weird thing. Like the old saying goes, when life gives you cannons, make cannonade. Um, sure. Just here for salt, Peter. Usual. <laughs> it's heavy. Demo. What the fuck? Wait. Wait. Science says toilet and goblin, which makes it seem like it's pretty likely that a toilet has used his tent as a goblin. No way you're going there. <laughs> toilet has used his tent as a goblin. Goblin has used his tent for a toilet. Shuffle some unlooted medical supplies on them. Both supplies of medical goods on their top shelf. Army field trauma kit and military grade whiskey. Damn, I need safe cracking. We're just robbing a fort, it's okay. It looks pretty robbed anyways. Still some good mess left. Hard tech and whiskey. Saltpeter. Yeah, it is mostly empty, but there are handfuls of boring personal records. They are incredibly boring. 
Pay grade C2. No, another! Accrued six days, killed in actions, wounded in action. That's a lot of sick days. Now you're just looking at the same ones you've read. What's wrong with you? I love filing! Damn it! Fucking lockpicking! Otherwise, should I take a look at that? Nice view up here. Okay. Got some cool shit. Right away, quickly. Yeah, Dark Horse. You hear a rustling sound that traces to his. He's picking over the edge, you see a goblin wrestling around the bush. Presumably it's a gulch goblin wrestler. Kind of always assumed. Different sort of thing. Angry sounding goblin noises. I win. He is not as friendly as the last one. You claw over the goblin and find some goodies in the shrubbery he was wrestling. Sandwich, pistol, meat. And I got a level. Danger, spider. Is this any better? 1 to 15. That's actually... I think I think has a higher chance of doing more damage. Yeah, it does three times the potential of damage. So basically there's two-thirds of a chance it'll do more damage, I guess. If my math is correct, which it's probably not. Howdy, boys. Okay, you're really pushing your luck. If you get any closer, they're definitely going to attack you. Well, I didn't know I was sneaking. Well, I mean, I didn't know I was sneaking, but is there a reason? Pride the boards with my crowbar. Yay. Danger spider! This door has like 15 dead bolts in it, and now it says, Please don't open this door unless you want to get eaten by a giant spider. Even then, don't open it because the rest of us don't want to get eaten by a giant spider. I will not be thing. There's no way to get. Wait. Go straight out. There's no way to get through unless you're a huge spider. Well. Stop your sneaking. And look around. Spider! Weapons! Fancy knife. Does this do any more damage? Seven to nine and three moxie. Yeah. Medicine. Should leave right now before that spider gets you. Now fight it! Come on! Come at me. Fine. Be that way. Your horrible skittering noise followed by a scream, followed by horrible skittering noise, followed by more screams, followed by rapping noises, followed by more muffled screams. There's more skittering than silence. Arrest them. Leave them for the spider. We can be ruthless. Danger kitchen. Danger bar. All these bottles are empty. What do we want to do? Do we want to be ruthless? Or do we want to arrest them? Hi! Poor chef is chaining the walls idle as you approach. Ah, oh, you're not one of them. Are here to rescue me? Sure. I'm Doug. John, how you doing? I've been chained to this dank cave for weeks, cooking stripy-hatted idiots. Sounds awful. Now the worst part, they're perfectly good at oven... Wait, there's a perfectly good oven 8 feet to my right, and a shovel perfectly good ingredients 8 feet to my left. The chain's only 4 feet long! That's rough. There was fresh out of color flow with a million meat idea in my head, and here I am, four feet shy of my dreams, cooking the same pot of soup over and over again. Almost not to steal my idea, sure. Okay, this new kind of sandwich made, or maybe a taco. So revolution, I'm not quite as sure where it fits in the whole hand food taxonomy. 
to be honest. Anyway, in the middle of it is a sausage, but the sausage is made from the cheapest possible parts of the pig. Ground them so finely you can't it. It's bologna? That's sort of long s in a long split roll which soaks up the grease so you can tell how fatty the sausage is. Oh, the hot dog! Oh! What do you think? It sounds. How about the hot John instead? He beams. Thanks! Not that I really see the matters, but I don't get enough this. Even if I dig out the chairs, no point hanging around the empty cave. Making hot dogs just for myself today. I don't even have to taste. You can set up shop in dirt water. Yay! I do do stuff! Set up shop. Really? You're a genius! John, hot dogs for sale! All day, every day. I'll make mint. What if I added a mint to the sausage mixture? No! You help break a stranger, leave the case, haul the oven, and the shelf full of ingredients. Butter itself about new sausage recipes. I am fucking pissed right now. Maybe we should. Maybe we should just leave them for the spider. But we don't get the reward, maybe. Fuck it. You sack the kids at the back of your horse, except for one, which Susie carries on her shoulders and head back to the jail. Money! Yeah, skill up. Stripey hat gang, what happened to him? They had a run with the giant spider, the giant spider of JUSTICE! The reward for the results. Rather explanations. They are, uh... Cool. Ooh, there's another one. Po Potenkin? Unless a civil engineer and flaunting of construction regulations. Last seen in an unregistered settlement north of. Uh, north of Thingy. The place is location of a suspicious city. Let's go to hiding out in Sure. But a case supplies bound for a nearby army fort. They fell off the wagon, the driver or the driver fell off the wagon and was too drunk to strap it. Yeah. Oh, or the driver fell off the wagon. Yeah, falling off the wagon is a euphemism for basically succumbing I don't know. Fucking getting over sobriety or some shit, however you would put that. In the case it looks like it's knocked open by the fall. You got incendiary bullet and a full canteen. What was that? Uh-oh. Was there gonna have to be sneaky if you wanna avoid full-on fricas? I have a sneaky horse. Wait, really? Yes. You say so. John Sneaky Marston. For the sound of it, you're done. This dog has this dog has contains an angry dog. Very funny. You're not gonna let be able to get past without alerting the gang inside. Fuck him up. He got the jump on him. Man, they're all gonna maybe die in one hit. This guy's the most health. Fuck him up. Yeah. Eight damage. Do that guy. Ah. Also, we'll never pay for this house. Two shots. I want to do two shots. What does this do? Oh, that's the options. But I knew that. You're bad at this. Come on, crit. Aww. There's no critting, but come on, max damage. I'm still angry. Ah! Just has been served. Desert Gang Six Gun.
bag of ears and such. Plus one Moxie. Give a gun. I can just walk through the fence. I think. Can't tell if I actually do or not. Can I go get my reward now, or do I need them alive? The side track is small. You see a small hell cow, a hell calf. It snorts at a patch of brushes, a brush lighting on a fire, and then starts grazing. Kill it before it gets bigger. Kill it. Come on, max damage. Yeah. One shot. Woo! Yeah. Russell cow tug. Extra thick. Leather. Yeah! I'm gonna sell my guns. Take this. Take this. Take this. What does this do? Poisons targets for five. But I already have a thing that poisons. Increase your muscle and shit for the rest of the day. Common manufacturers usually involve random loaded things together until they do approximately what you want. Tizzle is no exception. You regenerate my health, right? Yeah. Oh, I have two AP now. If my gun weren't so massive. Hi, they did. Heroes left of the desert gang. Yeehaw! Hey, another one. Black hat bandits. Horse theft and the selling of counterfeit glue. <gasps> oh, that's terrible. They steal people's horses and turn them into glue. Bastards. Mark the location of the millinery on your map and spend some time saying millinery over and over. Millinery, millinery. millinery. Wander. Ah, that's funny. See, so secluded. Wait, your eyes detect a secluded cave in the distance. Exploring would be definitely a good use of your time. Sure. What's that? Another ranch out of this way, the Butterfield Ranch, dairy farm mainly. Okay. Good idea. Let's go. What's this? The plaque bolt to the cave wall. The record of the events in the expedition to and into Shaggy Dog Cave. It's recorded by Jim Puddle. Black bull to the wall. I've been acquired through various sun, wait, sundry means. Sorry for much of the zone rise, but it's here for another time. A map purporting to lead a large coach of jewels and ingots pressed to battle hidden in the infamous highway man the cover of dark. Is this that weird cave thing? But the weird treasure thing? Aforementioned treasure. Gotcha, treasure. I heard treasure. We're good. There's gonna be something like that I have to read on one of these signs. Oh my god. Gameplay! Oh, what happened? I just weirded out. Is this still fucking going on? There we go. Does log of the nature resting ho. Reality equally successful. Oh. <laughs> they found it. Find a crate lying on the side of the trail, its lid knocked loose. It has fell off the back of a cart LTD stenciled on the outside. Which seems a bit on the nose, but hey, free stuff is free. 
I got a length of rope and a lasso. Ranch dressing. Same thing. Needles! Ah, oh, yes! Needles. <laughs> One needle per. Oh no, everything's dead. Hey, you see. Damn it. The food and thing. Cow shaped stain on the wall. Great. Got a lock. Okay. Between the smoke and the noise, you're guessing that the contents of the hours are more dangerous than the average hut. Oh, that's contents. It's one of these things. Kill it. Get it, Susie. <laughs> Toilet pistol. Toilet pistol. Another notch in her rifle. Is this one garbage too? Adds five poison damage. No thanks. This flower is smoking. Mine. Smoking chrysanthemum. It's like Jethro's bones were dug up by some varmint. Poor Jethro. Button cactus. Damn it. I wish I could learn lockpicking right about now. Nothing left, those damn devils. Kinda redundant, I don't see any bodies. Just graze up front, I hope whoever dug him. That way. Yeah. Fuck yeah, beans. All the books on the shelf are burned, but you notice one thing strange about the back of the shelf. The deaf figure from a hidden couch and a back panel slides away. You get a diary. Toys! Single object, a creepy burnt porcelain doll. I'm Grace, what's your name? None of your business, doll. I'm John. Hi, John, you're nice. You want to play with me? Sure. Hooray, Mary used to play with me, but we didn't get to finish our tea party before. Will you help me finish it? Sure. Hooray, the game is almost over. Mary did such a good job. Go downstairs, get my cup. Do you know the magic word to make the mean cow let you into his secret room? Magic word is peanut butter! Fuck yeah. Looking for her to move on westward, I reckon a train's the way to go. All right, yeah, cool. So, basement. Peanut butter! Top of the city, so there's a copper goblet filled with what appears to be blood. Break the shit out of it. You know what this is, but you know it's abominable. You grab the gauntlet and smash it against the altar. Everywhere the blood lands, cracks appear, and the altar groans and crumbles through. Sorry, doll. What happens if I talk to the doll now? You'll live to regret this hee hee. Oh. Alright. I may have pissed off Satan. Or some form of demon. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh my god, there's so many there's like stuff everywhere. You encounter an overturned wagon surrounded by the ruined broken books and a pair of spectacles. So the family of especially literate hopes that has met an untimely end here. Modern Snick, fuck yeah. No, I gotta read. Shoot me. Is it this essay a there's an essay extolling the virtues of shooting wildly without looking where you're aiming. Gives a shoot, shoot and any skill that lets you fire a whole bunch of bullets at random targets. There's a recipe for a new kind of snake oil concoction that looks like it might have come in handy. There's a letter from the editor from a woman in Wyoming who has an amazing idea. What if you shoot somebody three times instead of just once? I like her idea! Another ranch in this area. Alright. You walk into the millinery. Mm -hmm. Find five bandits lounging on big piles of half made hats. The bandits scatter like cockroaches, each shuffling in a different door. You have to wrangle them individually. Mm 
Damn it. Wait. It's apparently a demo mod. This was apparently the demo model from a piano player showroom. It's only got three songs on it, whether children's version of traditional songs that are recently invented. Public don't that are in the recently invented public domain. And they're all set up to play just a few seconds on loop. People working here must have hated it. How uppity. Jacques. Oh. That hurt. Oh no, he's back! So it's puzzled. Jacques. Bam. So I gotta figure out which one is the odd hat. <laughs> the dents in the top. Is that what it's be looking for? Actually, this one's twitching. Jacques! Pew! Alright. Come out, come out, wherever you are. You have the wrong dent! Pew! Watchies. So which one's different then? Hmm. They're storing in this one! Fuck! It was the one above it. Bah! Oh my god, I have to do them all again? Fucking goddammit. Ugh. That's kinda lame. Time consuming and redundant. That, that was a little bit delayed. Alright, this one's just the different one. The starring one is the next room. It's a lot louder than I thought. Turn, turn, turn this off. Turn it off! So how do I get this one then? I won't have to do all those again. I just... Thank God. Good riddance. Dang it! Oh, this one isn't just 
guessing it randomly. Try playing different songs. Ah, oh, whistling. Haha! -ha! Go to the right one. Go to this one. You are smart, John. Or you've seen this before. That's the mall. Hey there, Squeaky. Shoot them. That would be ruthless indeed. So there's a way to get them all apprehended. I probably need like a bone or something for the dog. I messed up! Yay! Probably get some special work for bringing them all in alive. That is unusual. This w in this wooded area out in the middle of nowhere, a goblin has constructed a little lean-to with a rough wooden counter. It looks like something of a it looks like something a kid would sell lemonade out of, except the lemonade you've got a display of shiny bits and jewelry. Goblin Tog! Look at the display of jewelry, which in usual goblin fashion is cobbled together from bits of scattered materials. They're shiny materials, though, and charming in an outsider art kind of way. Did you make these yourself? No, mine scale is to, is to selling only. These I am buying from goblin artisans, and, <laughs> and the saving is to passing along to you a customer. So each one of these is gonna up, up my different stats. I probably want the sparkly one for guns. I can only equip one ring. Jesus. I think mysticality was the wrong way to go. I didn't have mysticality. Well, fuck. No entry. Real jail. It's just a fucking board. Hostler's on vacation. It's haunted. That looks distraught. I lost my belt buckle. If you look near the bar, good idea. I'll look there. They're all fucking fake. They're all just wood. So there's something I gotta do. I gotta get them all stand by certain places. Same place. Now what? Um, 
Any ideas, boys? Eek. Any ideas? Better keep your eyes open. Yes. TNT and sandwiches. Go inside the jail. Can I just fucking arrest them? I don't know. Haunted. Is it something to do with the hats? Frog, Sally. Mm. Well, there is like an outhouse and a bunch of shit that I can't interact with. I can't interact with like any of these dudes unless I can talk to this guy. Seriously, there's like a million ghosts in there. This place is condemned. Authors on vacation. Using the eyes are over. Bar. Probably aren't good supposed to be in the same place, but fucking I don't know. God damn it! Google. Ah, oh, what the hell is this game called? West of Loathing. Ah, there's nothing for this. Hotemkin.
Line them up at the sandwich shop. That's where the TNT is behind. Is behind what? I can go behind them? How? Yeah, it's real fake TNT, I guess. How do I get behind it? There is no way. Damn it, Reddit. No. Ugh. And then stop you with a flimsy excuse. In order to capture the gang, you must manipulate them into standing in front of the jail or the sandwich shop. Oh, okay. Well, I'm ruthless, so I guess I have to kill them. But then I have to go behind it, and I don't know how to go behind it. God fucking damn it. God fucking... Lady. Lady, please. Fuck! Now what? How do I go behind? Oh. <laughs> Slowing a place thing doesn't look very strong. You can knock it over easily, but you should probably get it off until it's just the right moment. Well, time for murder. Yay! Why is the music slowed and backwards? Hurrah! Scoop them up! Well, I probably should have just killed them all and the other ones as well. No going halfway! Go a whole way or. Couldn't yet though. Loose pieces of wow. A meat ear. Uh Lots full of nails. Hi! Selling herbal remedies you care to buy. Gifted us by Gaia without any interference and in so weeds. It's a derogatory term created by man. Herbal remedy, quote unquote. Uh, howdy, man, what's happening? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Not much, we just moved this little patch of land to grow cross, and we decided it's more now to just let Gaia grow whatever she wants, right? You can starve that way, though. Where'd you get that hat? A friend of mine made it, I forget which one. What do you take for it? I'm thinking of trying a new style, man. Maybe there's one of them. Hats that army guys used to wear back in the day. It's kind of an ironic statement. There's an old fort over the yonder that away. Really? Manure. Yep, it's one heck of a farm. In the desert. Garden, quote unquote. 
Luis Lathrop. Why the wrong face? Aw, oh, jeez. Because I'm stuck here farming, and that couple of dummies who don't know how to farm a dang thing. So he just let the weeds go and call it natural. I'm so sick of eating dandelions, I could scream. Why don't you leave? I haven't got any meat in my other prospects. Or any other prospects, or anywhere to go. Dandelions are terrible, they're better than eating dirt. Head west after graduating baking school, I fell in with these guys and they talked a big game about natural gains. Full Iowa's, I didn't realize they were interested in getting silly on loco weeds and not doing any work. Oh gosh, yes. I try to know is baking, do you know somewhere that is hiring a baker? Heck, even unpaid, I would... Fuck. Well, remember this. Pickle factory. Circus. Haunted Factory. Okay. Sudden electrical jolt. Oh no, you're late for your shift. Mr. Vlas is gonna be so mad he might as well bite your he might bite your head off. Not literally, but probably. Quick, get suited up. You clock in and hurriedly put a bright in your bright king cover as Mrs. Vlas has predicted his fears. Late again! You better stop taking this job for granted! You think you're gonna find a place with a nice dormitory and a reasonably priced company store like ours somewhere else with your skills? Ha! You're doing three shifts today, Biz Buster. Get to work. You're on pickle hopper duty. Pickle hopper duty puts you ragged, like always, keeping the hoppers filled with a constant flow down the chutes means you're constantly on a near sprint, but you have to manage the cooch shunts to keep the levels equal. If you get uneven pickle levels, Mrs. Vlas knows. Nobody knows how she knows, but she knows. In the first six hour shift, you get a brief break and you cram a stale cheese sandwich in your mouth while Mrs. Vlas glances at her, glares at her pocket watch, counting down three minutes in the second. Breaks off her second shift. Oh god! Managing the salt tanks isn't as strenuous as the pickle hoppers, but it's never ending tension. The brine concentration has to be constantly monitored and kept at a very specific measurement, which means constant adjustments. While you feel yourself desiccating from a haze, wait. Meanwhile, you can feel yourself yeah, desiccating from the haze of salt dust that fills the room. If anything in this place kills you, you're probably going to be salt. It's probably going to be salt tank duty. White lung. Cough on your own time and get that salinity. Wait, sun. Salinity back to normal. Oh. Uh, Salinity. Yeah. Saltiness. You're supposed to be 976 parts per thousand. How hard is that to remember? 976, idiot. You get another 180 second break. Break before your third shift. You spend most of it drinking water. The company doesn't charge for water, but we've heard a rumor they've, they're considering it. Boiler duty means shoveling coal into the furnace. A furnace that runs on a little giant tank of boiling vinegar. Stings in here, you've tried to work with your eyes closed when Mrs. Vlas screens, you drop any coal on the floor, or if you let the temperature get too low or too high, or just for no regular reason. At least you're used to the smell of boiling vinegar. In fact, you can't even smell it anymore. 190 degrees, idiot. Not 189. Not 191. What do you think we pay you for? You don't really miss your sense of smell, nor coughing. You don't really want to do anything anymore, except to die. I guess you find a stab out a horrible sense of hallucination, your possession, or whatever the hell that was. Jeez, you can still fit this thing of vinegar vapor. Oh, I gotta remember that stuff. Shit. Okay, so the vinegar was 189. Ninety-three. Pump it up. Pump it up. That's 190. That was right, wasn't it? What the fuck was this one then? Shit, I don't remember any of that. I remember the 190. 
Kicks. Indicator pointing to five. Okay, so can I see the vision again? Put him out of his misery. Can't sleep, can't sleep. Fuck! I have to remember all that? And I only have one shot. This one was what? It was like 900 something. To the wiki! Because I'm fucking lazy. What was this place called? Pickle Factory. So there's... Yeah. I was right about the 190. Yeah, there's no... There's nothing to the other... The first room and except getting them even, I think. Oh, wait. You have to get them to read 16. And then 976. Ah, uh, here we go. Hang on. Just gotta get it. Wait a minute. Fuck! Why is it going back down? So sixteen. Seventeen. Shoot. I gotta get that one up there. That just undoes them. Those are the same problem.
Where I was before, though. I want to spend all day doing this. <laughs> Simple way to solve this puzzle is using levers one and two to set the rice most of that to one. Yeah. And then work to equalize the first two to sixteen. So they don't move evenly. Oh no, they don't. Okay, one of them goes up by two, the other goes up by one. Is that right? Eleven. Yay, I got a pickle. Pile of ghost pickles and piles of bones and cucumbers. Oh, that's what you need the, uh, the ghostly one for. Puzzle suck! To the side of the road, you see a covered wagon and a small family of settlers who look upset. You folks okay? We're on our way to Dirtwater, but our wagon went and broke us down on us. That's rough, you're liable to get attacked by bandits out here. Or snakes, or coyotes, or ghosts. All things John Martian don't like. Or other things that basically live exclusively in st on stranded travelers. Anything you can do to help us? Susie, can you fix the wagon? Yay! Free XP. Black goo? What the heck did you do to them? Don't ask. What did I do to the other ones? I forget. One of these, right? Oh yeah, I turned them into gross. Well, shoot. Got some of them. That one's empty. Well, I got two of them arrested, two of the groups. Right, how do I save this? Because I think I'm going to call it here. That worked. Don't oh, march. Now he did. Okay, that's about as all I can take of this game. For now, because there's a whole lot of clicking and walking around. It took so long. So, I'm done. Thank you all for tuning in on this fine Monday evening. And I will see the lot of you later. At some point. Soon. Dun, dun, dun.